With a binary try, you may have noticed that we were only able to represent binary strings, or strings over the alphabet 0, 1. What if we wanted to generalize this? A multi-way try is a try in which nodes can have more than two children. Or in other words, a multi-way try is a try over some larger alphabet than size 2. So for example, here's a multi-way try over the DNA alphabet. In other words, the alphabet is A, C, G, T. And let's take a look at what words are represented in this multi-way try. I can follow every path from the root to a word node, and that spells out a word. So T-A-A -A is a word. T-A-G is a word. And T-G-A is a word. This multi-way try only has three words because it only has three word nodes, which I've colored in pink. And those are these three words. If you've taken a biology class, you might recognize these as the stop codons. What about a more general alphabet? So what about an, a multi-way try over the English language alphabet? So in other words, my alphabet is A, B, C, D, yada, 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 Y, Z. All the letters of the English alphabet. What words are stored in this multi-way try? Remember, every word is a path from the root to a word node. So my words are AD, so the word add, ADS, so the word adds, and ATE, the word eight. And notice that I can have words that are prefixes of other words. All that means is that I have some word nodes along the path to other word nodes. That's totally fine, though. What if I asked you, does the word at, A-T, exist in this multi-way try? You might be inclined to say, well, I can go A-T successfully, so maybe it does exist. But when you follow the path A-T, you do not end up at a word node. Because this is not a word node, this does not exist in my multi-way try. 